Yo, what's going on, guys? Hit you back with another episode of the Troy Ranch Ranger mode, and well, we, well, I found a way to get the voice file to corrupt again. See, now I don't know what it has been lately, but all my voice files have been corrupting, going missing, and I've been unable to upload any audio. But hopefully that will change this episode because I would be really upset if I recorded this entire episode and had no voice audio to go with it. Anyway, we got a big off season. Started with Zach Rowenski and then moved on to Mitch Marner. Although I would have loved to get Matthew Tikachuk instead. Didn't work out that way, unfortunately. However, we had a pretty good off season nonetheless. Now. Got a brand new team out on the ice, although we got some guys from last year. We got some new ones, and I guess you could say we are... Nai. New and improved. N-A-I. Nai. Lost game one to fucking Florida. Sunny Florida, go after yourself. Beat Dallas 3-zip, though, and Winnipeg's got nothing against us. Then we beat them 5-3. Did I click start on the voice audio file? Yes, I did. I got nervous for a second. Three dubs in a row. Let's make it four. Yes. Five. Tampa Bay. Hi Fuck. Damn. Damn. Having a relatively good start to the season as we beat the Canucks five to two. Another three game winning streak. Make it four. Damn. Calgary plays the Rangers today at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It'll be a good game, I hope. Surprisingly enough, Calgary's in a playoff spot right now, although they started the season like near damn dead last. But Colorado quickly swooped in to let the, let the Calgary Flames move up because Colorado has 30 points this year, actually. If Colorado went undefeated the rest of the season, they would finish with 96 points. How about them apples? I did the math. Did the math. Actually, they have one of the low lowest games played in the NHL. It's surprising. Yes, double use, three in a row. Again, make it 17 in a row. Let's get it going now. Oh, ne negative. Another dub against Heaven Bay. I like the way I built this team for this year. I think we're much better than last year. Although I, I would have loved to take a chuck more than Marner, but Marner should do I. The problem is we have a lot of depth on this team, so it's going to be a lot of spread out scoring. So Tavares probably will not score 40 goals. And, uh, a lot of other things probably won't happen. But it's all good. Ooh. Woof. That's a bad loss against the Devils. Big win against the Knucks, though. And the Sharks. Out in the water. Sharks in the water. Quint. Good movie. Everyone, anyone ever see Jaws? You fucking better have. If you haven't seen Jaws, then I don't even know what to tell you. I don't give a fuck. Ain't no RFAs left that I'm interested in. Ho ho. Winning percentage is about a .750, which is pretty damn good. But it's a little bit lower because we have that OT loss. Winnipeg's played a lot more games than us, but we're still picking up dubs against them right now. How do we have eight losses? We were just 15 at what? Where did that eighth loss come from? We, we beat the Winnipeg Jets. We gained a loss and a win. I mean, did we win and lose that game? I'm just trying to figure it out. But the big dub against LA, so I don't really give a fuck. Doing I, I suppose. All right, all right. I mean, I'm not really looking forward to that tenth loss of the season, so let's just put it off until like game seventy. Gracias, stand out at WHL again, my face. Edmonton. Yes. Dude, Detroit at is killing it. Detroit. Ooh, Grand Rapids Griffins kind of suck this year. Might have to. And on a, yeah, you know what, once, hold up, hold up, <coughs> da -da. better be able to destroy before. What is going on in the minor leagues? We need them to do good. I got youngins down there just trying to get by. What's going on? Besides the fact that they suck. Comtoy, Svechnikov, Joseph Bellman. What seems to be the problem here, officer? Ah, they suck. Ah, okay. So you should just always some vacant. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, he kind of has got to be up there. You know what? I could, uh, let me bring in a sentry. Let me bring in a sentry. See if we can get a set on here. Heater. 
Uh, all right, starting goalie in the center. For the minor leagues. This is the major leagues, Rafi. Slap us. Slap us! We got it. Damn. A lot of free agents left, huh? Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Vanderbilt's. Now we should have plenty of plenty of centuries. Dennis Rasmussen. Bring back the Hodge. Wow. Uh. A lot of free agents left, huh? Do something crazy. Brown, 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 brown. Do something crazy. Do something crazy. Ooh, do something wild. Hey, be someone different. Woo! Go, go. What's with one do? Go. Go, 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 do something crazy. That song is so stuck in my head right now. Why is he so bad in this game? He's actually not that bad in real life anymore. I don't, I don't fuck with you. You know, it's crazy. I'm seriously thinking about going up to Skinner. Oh, crazy as it sounds. Because I wanted him in the offseason, but I, I kept deliberating and I never did it. <sighs> we'll sign these guys. Get the minor league squad. Did we pick up that dub against Buffalo? We better have. <laughs> Buffalo. Good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? Gonna say what? Bitch, I don't fuck with you. Goalie tenders. Okay, boom. Major League Rafi. Okay, we gotta go best lines, I think. They're good to go in the minors and click best of lines. They're the best lines we can do. And we go here, we go here. Lines. Look at this whole thing now. This is driving me crazy, I see. Ah, uh, here we go. Liner. There's Aubrey. Get the fuck out of here. Is what I'm just trying to tell you. Goodbye. Thank you. I Dominic Turgeon. You're not going to turn into shit. I hate to fucking break it to you, but you suck ass. Ah, uh, making a guy. You take, uh, you take his spot, I guess. I don't know who you are. Uh, let's see, uh, he needs to play, and he needs to play. Hodgson's better than him, so I guess we'll go in Hodge. The Hodge. So what you want to do? Go, 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 do something crazy. Uh, do something crazy. Here. give this team the best chance to win and then uh, we gotta go to goalie tenders and put in Gibson oh, I'll get a heater out of there boom get you in there you're a new starter Sadikov good got only we can only hope that he gets better all right let's see what the problem with this team is with their red wings actually we can see a little bit more before I sign Jeff Skinner yeah seriously well Kind of 91 overall sniper, put him on the third line. Don't believe me, just watch. Hey! Dun 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 dun
don't believe me, just well, I guess we gave Buffalo their 11th win of the season. But we're getting dubs, though, so it doesn't matter. It will matter, though, at the end of the season when I get angry. Grr. I'm glad you appreciate your eyes time to... Damn, that's a bad loss against frickin' Toronto, man. Mitch Marner cannot win against his old team, huh? We lost 6-3 of them, now we're losing 8-3 of them? I mean, bruh. Uh, yeah, I know. I like it that way. The less... The less trade offers, the better. Oh, that was my ankle I just cracked. Damn. Oh. Cool. Yes. Yes. Trojanovich, yeah, his name, first name is Edgar. I, I mean, I never looked at his first name before. I just saw Trojanovich. I just saw right there his first name is Edgar. Edgar Trojanovich. Not want to fuck with that guy. Negative. We have 10 more wins than losses if you count overtime in shootouts. Uh, oh my god. Can we just get 100 dubs on the season? <sighs> Actually, it's impossible to have 100 wins on the season, counting playoffs and everything. Hmm. Hmm. Why so so? Hero. Okay. Seems like. Minnesota's got a little something up their sleeve. Um, I definitely don't want Nino Niederreiter. Maybe Zach Parise. Maybe Zach. Uh, maybe Suter. I mean, Suter I'd prefer. He could be like the top pair defenseman in our minor league team if we really wanted him to be. So maybe I'll take a look at Ryan Sutter. Suter. Well, we could probably do the back as a cheating ting. One one bang bang. Ting ting. One one bang bang. It's a great song. Uh, Clay, you wait, Clay, Um, just kind of window shopping right now. Uh, let me go back to Minnesota. Miniature soda. <sighs> I would love to get Ryan Suter. And I feel like we're a good suitor for Suter. What would stop me from getting Zatch Parise? I'm pissing you off by saying Zatch, I know. Saying it for the sole purpose of pissing you off, so relax. Uh, Ryan Sutter. And yes, I'm saying Sutter to piss you off too, so calm your titties. Defensive men. Uh, who who could I get rid of? One, two, three. None of these guys. These guys are nearly untouchable. Mark Method. <laughs> Sergachev is not doing good with him, man. Cousin Roy, Schultz, ooh. Schultz and Wierenski are not meshing well. But we're four wads doing good. Alright. 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 Yeah, that's not good at all. Vander Kane. Vander Kane only has 20 points. And how many games now? Yeah. He, yeah. he might be part of the problem. Gold Dobin's not having a great year. Connor's not having a great year. All right. Bertuzzi. The fourth line needs fixing. Minus 22, minus 21. Jordanovich, bro. What's, what's, uh, what's, what's going on? He's only a minus 15. Something tells me something about Bertuzzi and uh, McLeod. Oh, he's kind of got to be in the minors. So, you know, we need a fourth-line center, and we need one now. Okay, actually, I'm glad glad we stopped this to, to spend some time together about this. We need a fourth-line center a lot more than I thought we did. Uh, good thing they don't have anybody. Um, wow, that's actually really bad. The only center at the free agency was uh, Dominic Moore. Not Dominic... Pff, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, blah, 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 Broussard. And we, well, we could put Broussard on the third line, which now nah, that would just be overkill. Oh, Zach Smith. 
We just got one year left. Got Logan Brown, though. I would love him in the third line. Oh, he sucks. Legitimately sucks. Okay. Okay, no one in Ottawa. If I were to say sign, uh, what's his name, Skinner, who could I move down? Actually, you know, I, I think we have to trade Evander Kane, guys. I really think he's got to go. See, we can't get a good center, like a, uh, a decent center in return for him. Adam Lowry. Oh, I would love Lowry. Can't do Lowry for Kane. That's pretty good, too. Well, Winnipeg did a very good job with their prospects. I'll give them a lot of credit. For that. Credit deserved, too. That, they did a great job with their prospects. Anyone in Arizona? Uh, is there anybody else they have? I could... Damn, their right wing is stacked. Stacked, bro. Stacked. Man, I was going to freaking draft him that first draft. I should have went ahead and did it, man. He turned out to be pretty damn good. Good for him. Good for him. And an elite goalie on the bottom. They got four fucking goalies. Maybe that's why. I get Lowry in a second for Evander Kane. They have no left wingers on this team. Have you noticed that? This way we can put Darren Helm on the fourth line. And if we put Helm on the fourth line, that should add... Damn, we don't have a first-round pick this year. If we put Helm on the fourth line, that is huge. Because that fourth line is struggling right now. Tavares, really? I'm surprised he doesn't have full trade value. He's 94 overall. Walker has the highest trade value on the team. Um, there's a lot of guys not having great seasons, which is upsetting, but uh, it's life. I'm glad we got Lowry, though. Lowry's a really good hockey player. At least, looks like one. So we could we could send down the cloud. Uh, we can't we can't roster from here, okay? No, I went to uh, I went to do manage rosters. All right, we can send down the cloud, which is cool. He'll play in the minor leagues where he's supposed to be, because he's still only a minor scoring forward. So having him in the NHL is not helping his. Not helping his development as much as we might think it is. So we could send him down. Who's in the system? Oh, no. We can't even send him down. You know why? Because I traded Evander Kane. See, I wasn't paying attention there. Um, we got to call up somebody, though, because McLeod cannot be in the NHL anymore. Let's go to Edeline. Let's, let's, see, what we can, let's see what we can manage out of this. Because if we... Uh, I got to go like this. First of all, this has to be like this. You know, we can put Conley on his natural wing. Maybe move up McLeod to the third line. That's what they're saying. But, like, I feel like he belongs in the minor leagues. Well, I will say, this helps us a lot in the sense that now I could go out and maybe get a third liner. This this second line is, I think, spectacular. How's the first line doing? 40 points. 57 points, 47 points. You know what? Playmaker, sniper, two way forward. Two way forward, two way forward, sniper. Put Trojanovic on his off wing up because Bertuzzi's better than he is. Um, they're just not meshing well together. The Kaiser, I, I, lo I love the second pair. They're working great together. I think. Jeremy Roy, 10 goals, 9 assists, 10 goals, 21 assists. But he's a minus. Should I switch them around? Let's put a little switch right there. See if that does anything. And then Mathot and Sergeant, they're going to have to stick it out. Because I'm not... Uh... Let's see if we can't get a good third liner. Hell, maybe Parise for the third line. 
We'll sit. Let's simulate a little bit. For, uh, actually, no. It's this late in the season. Let's make a move. Looking for a third line winger. Wilson is played for Sellers. Uh, oh, damn, that guy's good. Fernandez. Who the hell is this guy? He's gonna be really good. Wow, good for him. Um, third liner, third liner, third liner. Who the no? Uh, like Parise. I'm, I'm liking the idea of Zach Parise. Connor Sheary too. Unless he's as bad as. He's pretty bad. Um, all right. We'll give Parise a chance. Wilder in no position to win anyway, so we'll go Parise. He's a top nine. We're not going to pay his full contract either. Don't worry. We'll get that. Just short that real quick. Maybe we'll just go Parise, to be honest with you, because I'm not, I'm not trying to get a uh, suitor. Because then he, because, you know, I would throw him on the third pair. And then at that point, like, what would be the point of that, you know? Half salary retained. Maybe I should have done Parise for Kane. Nah, Lowry's better. But like this. Demonch his salary. And then... We don't necessarily have to send him a contract back, although I could. I'm not trying to, though. Dispatch. No, no, no. They gotta, they gotta pick someone that they're, that I'm interested in trading to. This trade's gotta work for both teams, so I'll tell you what happened. Okay, do you want these guys? You can actually have both of them. Uh, the goalies? You want one of those goalie prospects? I got two of them. Take Grigorenko, because, you know, I'm only gonna use one of them. Let's see, let's see how they think about it. What, what they think about this. It won't go through, but I wanna see what they think. Are they interested in all my picks this year? I'll trade Anaheim's third. Kyle's third. I don't have a lot of picks this year. They have to eat some amount of salary on Parise because I can't afford to take on his whole contract. So we'll start at three and a half. And we'll work our way down. Very important that they eat on Parise because we, we legitimately cannot afford him. And then again, we could just sign fucking Skinner. And not have to give up any assets. What am I getting in Parise? Solid defensive player. Holds on an offense. Great leadership. It's a matter of money and term. He's got a long contract. That's that's my problem with this. But then again, like if he retires this year, which it looks like he will, it won't be that big of a deal. But they've got to help me out here because this is a five million dollar contract for a guy about to retire. That's a lot of money. I draw the line at one and a half. I'm just saying. At one and a half, if they don't accept it, that's it. Because <clears throat> this is a $6 million contract for this guy. That's ridiculous. Yep, all right. We'll find somebody in free agency then. Because, you know, I, 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 I cannot afford to bring in that contract. Absolutely. And for the assets I'm giving up, absolutely not. Do not have a plethora of picks this year. I cannot be doing that. Um... 6.4 million. We can bring in a forward. Well, you know, we can even bring in... Uh, no, I'm not bringing in a defenseman. Because then we'll have to trade in thought. Which actually would bring in $5.5 million. So it wouldn't be that awful to trade off. Uh, Jeff Skinner. Not the best. We already have snipers on this team. The best defensive player in the world. Good nonetheless. Uh, Eric Stahl. Good offensive player. Offers good poise. I think Jeff Skinner's poise is better. 
uh, former line mates should bring that up. Broussard, excellent poise, always performs in the playoffs with the Rangers. I don't know how he did with the Senators. Uh, Cole Suck, not trying to get him. Zuccarello, really can never go wrong with Zuc. Larson, no, 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 and there's a drop off right there. Uh, man, that's a tough decision. The roll like scores. How much would it cost to get him on a two year? Cause I could, you know what? Let me shed some. Let me shed some cap. I'm gonna sign Skinner on a two year. Keep him for this season, and then I'm gonna trade him at the at the draft. So we need to make some cap space, and I'm not I'm not against trading Mark Mathot. To, to be completely honest with you, he's making five and a half million dollars. He's not helping us out that much. Let's see who we can get back for him. Maybe we can get a two way defenseman, like Jonathan Erickson. Do we really want to bring this guy back on the team? Probably not. But Simone Desprey. Columb Shits is interested. And they got Boychuk. Negative. We'll make this work out. We will make this work. I like Skinner. I like the Skinner two year deal trade kind of thing. That way you don't lose them in the offseason for absolutely nothing. Duncan Keith. Wait a second. A huge guy to get. We can get him at some salary retention. I would love to get Duncan Keith. We just can't take on that entire contract. We can get him to manch some of Keith's salary. I would love Duncan Keith on this team. Him, I would throw on the top pair, on the bottom six pair, and then trade him at the draft too. And you could flip him at the draft because who wouldn't want Duncan Keith? Um, mm -hmm. big big rest in the minors. Bring big ass back to the C just B J mode. I'd do it. Just got a two one. There's only one. Hmm. Well rounded defenseman, twenty four years old. At least they can't afford to take my thought. Uh, nobody here. They have enough defensemen as it is. Uh, San Josie's on a vacation far away. Uh, Mirko Mueller. I'll take the young one off your hands. Fourth, they can't afford my thought. I Yep, St. Louis can't afford him either. So, Tampa Bay can't afford him. How many teams can afford Mark Mathot? It seems. Way too expensive for me. Uh, I need to offload his salary somehow, man. I have way too many defensemen who want to make a trade. Boston. That's actually a really good prospect in real life. It's pretty funny. Uh, Kevin Connaughton. Oh wait, one second. We have we have a guy that Robbie Russo guy in the minor leagues. Here we 
we can't just trade Mathot for a pick. What the hell am I doing? We need a pick anyways. Yeah, they don't have a lot of defensemen here. We just got a nice defensive upgrade in there. Thank me later. Contra contract space and cap space. Returns to his hometown team. Well, not his hometown team, but you know what I mean. What are the odds? Oh, I'll take a fourth. Second or fourth. My fifth for this year. Yeah. Worth the salary dump. Absolutely worth it. Okay. Now I can sign Skinner. You know what? Better Robbie Russo than the shell too. This is a this is actually a genius idea bringing in Jeff Skinner because that is like literally no liability. You could just dead ass trade a ninety one overall at the draft. And then from here, then I send them a cloud. I can maybe even sign somebody else. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So I got what I wanted. I signed Skinner. <laughs> Let's try to advance stay here. See how long it takes his ass to sign. Do we get that win against Florida, though? We're both fighting for our 30th win of the season. No, we did not get it. Okay. Come on. Awesome. There's Skinner. We got him on a two-year. So remember, we're trading Jeff Skinner at the trade deadline. At the trade deadline, at the draft. We're trading him at the draft. So we will not be here forever. Uh, we can send down McLeod now. Oh, we gotta call. Do we have to actually call up Skinner? <laughs> That's actually pretty damn boring. I know. I know McLeod. I know. Best lines. Yeah, I already did best line. Wait, best lines down here. Uh, this. Make sure all the guys are in here. Aubrey, get the fuck out of here. It's not even close to what's going to happen. Uh, Lynn's got to be in there. McLeod's going to be our first line center. Making him sand like, get the fuck out of here. Uh, where's my guy? Letting in. Bacon in. We gotta put it back in. Oh, he's already in. Uh, I guess we're low on minor league defense. Alright, that should be alright though. Excellent. Ah, shit, I gotta go back to NHL lines. Uh, it's a long video, gentlemen. Skinner new. Okay. Alright, so. We could put him on the third line, which would be rough. Understandably so. I would rather go like this. Now you got depth. You got Tatar in that third line. He'll last on the third line. Here's why. It's second liner. So he'd make it. If he should make and he's a two way forward. Excellent defensive categories, excellent offensive categories. He will definitely have all that third line. Now now we look like we got a really good team here. Now we look like we got some. Defensively, we look, we're a little bit weaker, yes. But you know what? At the same time, Russo and Sergeyev are not bad defensemen. So, I think I think it'll work. I think it'll work. You just added a, an elite player. Beyond elite. You added, literally, almost a franchise player on your team. And a 91 overall Jeff Skinner. So, you know what? That, that peeps ought to help us out. Let's see how we do now. Swagging team. Yes. Should be outscoring everybody. Completely outscoring. And we got plenty of picks going in the draft. We don't have a first round pick. We got two seconds. I think three thirds. A couple fifths. A fourth. 
Yeah, we, we got picks every round with the first. We got plenty of picks, though. And if anything, I could swap two second-round picks for a, a late first-round pick. And then we got a first-round pick. There you go. We just got to win, though, guys. We just got to win. Boom, boom, boom. Down helm. That's great. Good, good, and good. Haha, yes. Double U's. Where are they at? I'm glad you're happy, Tavares. When you smile, I smile. Yes. Ye Ooh, that simulate one more day. Dick blind. Uh, declined because I do not want Nino. All right, let's take a look now. I Chihuahua. Take a look in one last time at our line. Just, I mean, at the trading bot. Just in case somebody got put up there that snuck through. Uh, no, 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 no. That guy Evan Rodriguez is sick. By the way, he scored a beautiful goal against the Wolfpack uh, the other night. Um, sorry. Max patch ready. And Taylor Hall. No, I'm not going to trade with either one of them, but it's interesting that they're on the block. Is New Jersey not a winning team? Uh, yeah, not. Uh, boom. Juan Duarte. No, no, no. I don't think I got Tobias Lindbergh back. And, uh, Ostas. One second. Paul Stassi was the key. Literally the key. Oh, wow. Shannon Cook's on the block, too. Paul Stastny was the key to my Philadelphia Flyers franchise and winning that Stanley Cup. He was the key. Was Stas. He was the key. But if we're going to win, you need a winner. Stas is a winner. I trade my whole team for him. Oh, too bad we can't do that. All right, whatever. <laughs> I just trade my whole entire franchise for Paul Stastny. Stas! Hopefully he sticks around, though. I like to sign him in the offseason. Three games in a row, because that's realistic. Let's finish the season, boys. A marathon video right here. Marathon! What are we, 11 episodes in now? Or is this episode 10? Crazy how fast time flies. Excellent W against Ottawa. Excellent W against Carolina. Keep on rocking. Beat the Aslanders. Yes. What about Tampa Bay? Beat them too. Aha, yes. Buffalo. Struggling this year. Ooh, and they beat us again. Fuckers. That minor league squad should be doing much better now too, by the way. Grand Rapids. Took away one of your defensemen, yes, but still you should still be killing it down there right now. Dude, 8-3 to three win against Florida. Sick. Hey, what's not sick? Losing in the shootout to the Rangers. This is real life, that it is sick. But right now, it's not. Big dub. Keep getting these dubs, bro. If we can get like 60 wins this year, I'll be sick. Too bad we can't. It's too late for that. Oh, I'm falling. Ugh. I'll take 50 wins, though. Hey, listen, 50 wins ain't bad. 50 wins ain't bad. I'll take it. Ugh. I'd imagine we're in the top 10 in the NHL right now. Definitely not top 5, but I, I'd say we're in the top 10 spot in the league. Got to be. We're at... Oh, the fucking loss. It pissed me off. 82. We're at 90 points. Oof. What goes I thought? Not 90 points. Forget it. Uh, yeah, we're near damn at 100 now. We're at 106, I think. Keep getting doubles. Win these last three games right here. Win, beat Columbus, beat the Rangers, then beat Boston. Good. Good and excellent. End the season on a six-game winning streak. Yes. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I got it. Who do we have in the first round of the playoffs, though, coach? Who do we got? Regular season's ended. Who do we have in the first round? The Washington Capitals versus the Detroit Red, Ring Red, Rings. Red Wings in the first round of the playoffs. 52, 22, and 8. So that's like 100 and... It's 112 points, I think. Uh, I wonder if we, I wonder if we won the president. Did we win the president? I don't think so. Did we? 
Oh, we beat the Penguins out by a point. And the Detroit Red Wings are your President's Trophy team for the second year in a row. Wow. I mean, good luck or bad luck, the President's Trophy. Who knows? We'll see this year. Uh, goal four. We had to be up there for goal four. Second in the league. Goal against. We should be up there, but I don't think it doesn't look like we are. Uh, Alright, top ten, I suppose. Uh, power play. Wow, first in the league by a, a, a long shot. Nearly scoring uh, once every four power plays. Uh, all right, uh, not a great penalty kill. It could be better. Shorthanded goals. We got to have a lot of those, I'd imagine. Four of them, not bad. Team Stas. Tavares was a point per game player. I'll give him credit. I did not expect that because we had a lot of depth on our team. Was not expecting to see that. So Tavares, 87 points, 34 goals. I figured he wouldn't get 40. 53 assists. Cam Atkinson, comeback season, had a 79-point season. Tatar, even on that third line, came out with 61 points. Larkin with 58, 26 goals. Marner had 50, 50, uh, 55 points. Schultz, 55. Wierenski, 24 goals and 52 points. Goldolwin, 50 points. Breakout year for him. Skinner, 38 points. Oh, and 32. So he, on that second line, was a point-per-game player. You know, maybe guys, maybe we don't trade Skinner. We'll, we'll see how the playoffs go. Lowry killed it. Uh, Roy had a good year. Helm, Connolly, DeKaiser. Sergeyev, McLeod, Russo, Trojanovic. He's just playing hockey, man. Who we got? All right. Not a great year for Morazic. Great year for Gustafson, though. Much better than uh, Coral. Uh, let's go right here now. I got dry slips, man. Nady Mack wins the... What is it? Art Ross, I think, for the most points. Art Ross, yeah. Uh, Crosby, runner-up. Kane, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, not a great... Not a great scoring. Let's see goal. I mean, good goal scores this year. Kane, 47. Tyrus Angle, 43. Ovechkin only... Wow, 68 points. Rough year over there in Washington, I guess. Damn. Back to back 50, 55 plus goal season than that. Crosby, Hall, Elliot, free agent, it looks like. Crosby, Malkin, Sagan, Hoffman, Perry, Eichel. Got a good thing going in New Jersey. I'm surprised they're not winning. What do you got? Uh, Nick Schmaltz. <laughs> uh, Alright. Take a look at the power play goals. See if I know about power play goals. Ah, yeah. droid. All right. Take a look at this playoff tree. Mm, great year for the Detroit Wings. Great year. Great year. All right. So we got Chicago, Winnipeg, Colorado, San Jose, Calgary, Edmonton again, Dallas, and Anaheim. In the East, Philadelphia versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. You got the Penguins versus the Islanders. Senators Panthers and your Detroit Red Wings versus the Washington Capitals. So thank you very much. If you hope you're watching this and if you're you do not need hearing aids, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.